what you saw on Saturday? I mean, yeah, it's just uh, you know, pretty embarrassing. Um, you know, we, we took uh, took us a whole half to decide to play a little bit, and um, you know, it's on me, it's on our, our coaching staff. We got to make sure our guys are ready to play uh, from the first snap to the last snap, and uh, we work. And that falls directly on me, and we got to get that right. I guess that, that's a game chance at 50 passes is too many. How much of that was just having to play catch up, and in retrospect, maybe not enough running ball calls? Well, you know, in the in the second half, we were trying to you know stay with our game plan. It was still early. Uh, we could still feel like we you know could still run the ball and be okay. Um, some of that too was you know Nick trying to take advantage of what he was getting. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure he did number the number of times we had a pass play. I'm sorry, one play call that he threw it, but uh, there were several. So, um, you know, I think that towards the end, I mean, I, I think you know we obviously found um, you know Mike down the down the field and a couple other guys open. So they were dropping eight, uh, rushing three, which made it hard to throw the ball. So we would like to run the ball a little bit better if we could and, and keep that off Nick. That was entirely too many pass attempts. He also said about. You know, Nick needing to play within the system. Just kind of what did you feel he needed to do that he perhaps didn't as far as whatever he was playing within the system? Yeah, I think he was trying to do too much. I think uh, when we did get down, I think we, we all, uh, not just Nick, we all pressed. And, um, you know, when you feel like you're better than a team, you just got to go out and execute. And you got to just stay within the system. And um, I've got to call better plays. And, and we've got to execute. And, um, you know, it's, it's, that's what it's about. So uh, I think just him trying to take advantage of too many things, throwing a couple, you know, when we thought he could have gave it to Rakeem. You know, the biggest one I can think of is, you know, Rakeem runs for eight yards. Uh, we, we tempo it, and uh, we got a second and two, and uh, we decided to throw it over there to Coylan and, um, you know, didn't, didn't complete it, go to third and two, don't get it, and then we don't get the, the, the uh, quarterback sneak. So. You know, those are those are the things we got to keep the chains moving, keep the drive alive, and and uh, just play within the system. And, you know, get him back hot. You know, let him let him have. Coach, aside from some of the plays that he, he was forcing, it looked like the ball was sailing on him also a little bit. Is that just sometimes you just have an off day? Yeah. And how do you talk the quarterback down from you know? Because that stuff starts getting in your head too. Yeah, you know, everybody has a bad day. Yeah, you know, <laughs> um, you know, it's hard to explain. You know, I played quarterback. There's, a million quarterbacks you talk to will tell you the same thing. It's all about trying to overcome those uh, those throws. You know, a week ago, you know, Nick's throwing slants, he's throwing out routes, he's throwing all kinds of things on the money, and you know, obviously, uh, he was a little hot, you know, the other night. And so we just told him, you know, just trust his protection. I think that was the biggest thing: trust your protection, keep your base, uh, try to step into your throws. I think a lot of the high throws were just off his back foot. And um, so, you know, it's just about finding a way to overcome a bad night, try to maybe check, take a check down or two, and you saw Nick do that. So, um, you know, that's, that's, that's going to happen, but you got to, you know, as you grow as a quarterback, you got to learn to overcome those things and, and still make it, make it, make it happen and, and go into the football game. Hey, Jeff, what prevented the run game from doing everything you wanted it to do in that game? Well, I mean, there's a lot of different things. I mean, if you want to talk short yardage, um, you know, that was the most, you know, one of the most difficult, disappointing parts. That and the turnovers, um, you know, in, in the very first one, you know, not only when we called the play, you know, I was like, man, this is not only going to get the first down, this is going to walk in the end zone, and um, we have a missed assignment. We don't get off to the to the wheel linebacker. The wheel linebacker meets us in the hole, and um, that was the best call, best best play we had all week. Uh, it looked extremely good. We had a you know a hat for a hat. Um, all week in practice, showed them the exact look in the, that they've got in the game, and, and we just didn't get it done. Um, you know, then you go to the third and two. Uh, before we had to flip it out on the edge of Devois to get the fourth and short, you know, um, you know, we got beat inside by number 11. I told you guys number 11 was a good player. Uh, number 11 beats us inside at tight end and uh, makes the play. And if we get that, that, that D gap cut off there, it's going to be a good, good little hole, if not. Uh, definitely going to get the first down, if not get you know an explosive run out of it. So um, that was the most you know disappointing parts about it. And, and um, you know they they did a nice job. You know they had a week off. They they prepared for us nicely, and they had some you know different fronts and different techniques they were playing up front. So um, I still thought you know we could have done some things a little bit better. But 
the most disappointing part of the run game was the short yardage. Joe, I had a couple of plays. You know, obviously Nick and our team play today and have know a lot of guys here. What do you think this game means to them? I hope like any other game would, uh, honestly. Um, you know, we're, I am, uh, our whole team should be trying to win every game, uh, no matter who they're playing. Uh, no matter if we're playing, you know, a, you know, a team we've been at before coaching or where we've played or what, whatnot, you know, it's just, you know, it's all about us. We've always said that, and it's true. It's about Arkansas Razorbacks, and, um, you know, I would like to think that those guys would, would look at it the same way as we do. And then, you know, Nick was pretty broken up after the game when he talked to us and took a lot of responsibility. Um, how do you keep him from not losing confidence? What do you think his response and kind of how do you, you know, get him back up, you know, feeling good? Well, Nick's a confident kid. I mean, um, I think anybody that's played the sport has had a bad game. Um, you know, we talk about it in football and talk about it in life. You know, you're going to get knocked down. It's all about how you get up. You know, you got to get yourself off the mat. You got to wipe the blood out of your nose, and you got to go back to work. And um, I think that's what Nick did last night. I was really proud of how he came in, and you know, took like you said, took some responsibility. Uh, I also told him, hey, you know, I wasn't perfect either, man. You know, we all weren't. So, um, you know, it's a team game, and and I think Nick will Nick will respond this week. What's the scouting report on A and M? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, where do you want to start? They're giving up 20 points a game. They played the defending national champion. Uh, they played, I don't know what Auburn's ranked now uh, in the polls, but you know they played them last week. They're giving up 20 points a game. Uh, it's pretty good uh, considering the, the offenses that they've played with the, the uh, firepower that those guys have. Um, they're only giving up 303 yards of offense a game. Um, you know, rushing only 108 yards and passing 195. So. Uh, they, they, they do a really good job. They have a really good scheme. Uh, this defensive coordinator has been around a long time, uh, called defenses for you know, top whatever defenses in the country uh, for the last couple of years. So um, you know, they're going to be a big challenge for us. I think uh, you know, last year, looking back at our game last year, we got off to a slow start. But once we kind of settled in, we felt like we you know, did some good things. So uh, again, it's all about starting fast and finishing strong. That's what we always talk about. And uh, hopefully that's what we'll do this week. But, you know, guys that stand out, to me, number one, uh, they're Mike Backer. He does a phenomenal job, runs well. Kind of reminds you of Devin White last year from LSU uh, and the way that he can run. Um, you know, 52 up front, he's a good player. I remember uh, recruiting him when we were in Dallas. Uh, he's, a, he's a phenomenal player. Um, and they have a lot of length at corner, 6'4 kid, number 10. Uh, I mean, he puts his arms up in the air, and I mean, he, he's, he's very, very long. Uh, you see him on film. So, uh, number nine is extremely fast. Uh, reminds you of Earl Thomas back there, how he uh, flies through the alley. Uh, so, you know, they got a lot of good players. Uh, it'd be a good challenge for us. And uh, I think our guys, obviously, uh, we're going to be looking for their, them to respond this week and uh, wake up early and, and go play. And just the offensive line had a real good game this Colorado State. And I don't know how their defense compares to San Jose, but it seemed like you know the offensive line struggled the other night. What, what was the difference in those two games from an offensive line standpoint? Yeah, I think that's something you know to ask them. I agree. I think they played pretty well against Colorado State, and uh, not so well the other night. And um, you know, I don't know what it was. Uh, I really don't. I think that's something you'll have to ask them. Um, but we felt like. Honestly, it felt like Colorado State's D-line was better than San Jose's, and obviously we didn't go through that in the game. Um, Coach, you said you wanted to get off to a fast start. Would maybe not deferring to the second half help you guys out there, get some things going early? You know, I, you know I, I'll take the ball whenever we can get it. You know, I, as an offensive coordinator, I'd love to have the ball, but you know, I'm not the head coach, and the head coach makes that decision, and, and I love what, what we're doing. Um, you know, so if coach says we're going to take the ball, I'd be happy to take the ball. If he says we're defer, I'm happy to defer. So um, whenever we get it, I'll be ready. Any more questions for Coach Craig? All right, thanks, Coach.